on you. Okay, so I already took care of that long ago. But for my community, please uh, click DT, follow, click, all that good stuff. All right, we're in. Good luck. Have fun. All right, take care. Bye. Uh, all right, so mulligan time. Um, I This is okay. It's not mind-blowing ramp, but maybe it's good enough. So I'm going to keep it. Gyruda is really scary. I don't have any interaction. So if I don't get my game plan out and hope that they whiff, as soon as they get to six mana, it's pretty much over. The game is absolutely over. Which is wild, but that's the truth of it all. You may play a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. I have a forest and an island, so this will come into play untapped. And then we will get this out. I don't like that at all. Uh-oh. Here we go. They ramped with my own ramp creature. That was really a solid play. And we are screwed. I told you the game was over. Watch what happens. It's RNG time. RNG fest. But generally speaking, they fl they spin, they mill, and they take their pick. And they've decided to take my ancient green warden. Feels rough, doesn't it? All right. So now what do I do? Now I have to transform Gyruda. And then we will draw some cards and have some fun. Um, Ren back? Do I do that? Or do I... Man zone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
Now they're going to lose Gyruda and put it back in the command zone, which is probably a really bad idea. I probably should have taken Gyruda, so that was my mistake. But that's okay. Mistakes are fine. This time, at least. Six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. So they just gonna, they're just going to Gyruda again. Yeah, of course you can drop your handle. Yeah, any, any, you can definitely do that. No, Brawl is never ranked. Brawl is always unranked, casual. Ooh, that was nice. Five, six, seven, one, two, three. Thank you, Vlad. It's very kind of you. I think I've already lost this game, right? Four basic lands, reveal them, put one on the battlefield. Tapped under your control, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Choose attackers, no thanks.
discard land, but because I can play lands from my graveyard, they all show up over here and make me a big cluttered mess of cards. Let's see how bad Gairuda hits us this time. Gonti, what a beautiful card. That card is one of my favorite cards you could ever play. Luckily, they didn't get a payoff. They just got... I think they're playing with their food. I think they realize full well that Gairuda is just so ridiculously powerful that they're just, like, waiting. I don't really know exactly why, but I like it. All right. So how do we win this game? I can't even see all the cards I have. Let's try this. I get to draw cards and stuff. It's so good. And then we will do this as our land. Triggers galore. And then we will do... Uh, what else do I need? Oh, I should have put out the, the Cobra. I'm a bad player. That's fine. Technically, you know. More triggers. Sure, blue seems fine. That's blue, right? Wish I could see these cards. I'm so sorry. I can't really see what I'm doing. Could I do this and still have mana? One, two, three, four. It's only four, so I can't level it up. Bummer. Um, so if I can't level it up, then I guess I just have to do this. I just gave them cards galore, but I don't know what choice I have. More triggers. Two, three mana, so I can do something that costs three. And it's going to have to be create a food token. Sure, I guess. Let's do this. All right. And now they get to spin to win. They've got cards in their hand. They could do a board wipe. There's a million things that could happen. So, because I don't have haste. So, these attacks feel kind of lame. So, I'll just pass. And see if next turn, if I can swing out. If they don't have an answer, then that's my job. Spin to win. Whee! They, they got some fun cards. Funky cards, but are they enough to stop 64 or 60 scoots? That's the trick. One Meat Hook Massacre would ruin my day. <laughs> Oops. 
would be tragic. Let me get out of the way so you can enjoy the fantastic action. Uh, let's put it in the command zone. I'll talk to you more about the command zone rules. I don't want to get too far ahead. So if you are confused by some of the interactions, uh, it's very complicated at this point because there's so much going on. I love this. They get a duplicate Gyruda, so they're going to do it again. Spinning to winning. What do they get this time? So in the the world of Commander, okay, so they didn't find an answer to the Scute Swarm, so we go in to game two. I will assume they're going to play. It's usually the case. So opponent wins, coin flip. Gyruda is such a such a beast. Like that thing spins. Like I got lucky and was able to take it out, but I made a bunch of mistakes. So many mistakes. Should never have let them. Well, eh, there's a there were a bunch of mistakes. We don't have to talk about them. They were bad. That's very convenient. So we take away their mana ramp here, and put a land down. Yes, please. So we get ramp, and we take away their ramp. That couldn't be any better. Hey, Krabs, what's up? Hype it up. Uh, exclamation event, and you can get all the details. That is the tournament. All the players and people playing are there. Um, I'm loving this Monday Brawl thing. I got into it a while back and then just kind of phased out of it for whatever random reason, but I'm really happy to to be part of it. Thank you for running such a cool tournament. Um, okay, so I got to think here. I don't know, cultivate. Add one mana of any color if you control blah, blah, blah. Okay. I guess cultivate gets me Tatiova faster. Yeah, and tons of people from um, Ephelie's community and from my community and from Peach's community. Uh, a lot of people are f fired up in, in their discords talking about this tournament every week. So there's a lot of hype, and I'm glad we, we pegged it to uh, full capacity. I also post it in DGen all the time. Um, all right. So now that we have that, we just have to start getting value. Blue-black, of course, has all the removals, so I don't expect things to live. Okay, that's fair enough. Back to the command zone for you. And, oh. Uh, we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Earn it. The midnight clock. Tick-tock. My god, that's a that's such a good synergy interaction here. It's almost ridiculous. I just protect it. Oh, I gotta tap it anyway, so I might as well just do this.
Okay, Ruda got there pretty fast. Uh oh. Baby Multani. Another guy Ruda on the flip. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. They are going off. Whoo! My goodness. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. Unfortunately for them, we are freaking incredible. I mean, I don't know if that's really incredible, but it helps. I mean, they're still going to, you know, but look at that. We, we just kind of put them back a step or two, right? Um, what do we do here? Take him to 24. Send a message, I guess. Hey, it's been a long time, Michael. How are you? 1916 is a good year. It's been a long time since I've seen you. How are you? Miss Amigo, hey. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate you joining the colony. You're alive. How are you doing? I'm the, I feel the same way. I am a yet to live. Man, so much has changed since I've seen you. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, there's so many things swimming around in my small ant brain, but as, as I recall, you are a... Um, I, I guess I first interacted with you on Twitter. I appreciate you being here. Welcome. Tell me about yourself. Um, okay, so we got to end this game because if I don't, things are going to get really ugly. So what do I do here? How does this work? Two lands to my owner's hands. I can do that and still get some action, right? Is that what I'm doing right now? It feels like the play. I'm very apologetic to anybody who isn't. I, this is like the fourth time I've played this deck. So I feel like I'm still learning. That's not going to work. All right. Uh, no attacks because I want to be able to pop that. Mostly limited player has been dabbling in standard lately. Cool. Williamson. Whoa. My good friend Bill42 is here. Billsom. Billsom42. <laughs> um, all the new cards look like so much fun. Yeah, there's a lot of new cards. Uh, this is Brawl. Historic Brawl with this, a modified um, band list. Oh, how dare they? How could they? Limited players would probably love Brawl. If you're, I mean, standard is fine. I'm not going to talk you out of it. But if you, because you probably have a huge pool of arena cards, because as a limited player, you tend to have a pretty large collection. Um, Brawl is a blast to delve into. Because I think limited players, let me just say this right now out loud. And I'm going to divide the community, I know. Uh, limited players are the best players in Magic. Limited players, good limited players are, uh, it's the hardest form of Magic. So if you can play lim limited, you can do anything else. All these other modes of play are easy mode compared to a, what limited players have to deal with on a daily basis. So if anyone's standard is trying to tell you that they're the superior magic player, um, you heard it from me. It's not the case.
So because you are a big-brained limited player, you would probably excel at um, a brawl format. Singleton, you get a lot of different play interactions, a lot of different scenarios and situations, unlike standard, which tends to be very humdrum and, and um, uh, predictable. It gets very predictable. You can have some interesting decks, don't get me wrong, but generally, bleh. Okay, I think... I don't know what to do. Uh... Draw cards, gain life. Seems like I'm just so far behind. Spark double? Uh, things are going to get really bad when they untap. Maybe I should have killed Gyruda. I, uh, okay, fine. Fair enough. I'm making mistakes. Urgh. Rebuke? Do we just get Rebuke back? Not soon enough, though. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. I steal them. Why would you build anything when you can steal it? Yeah, you're, you're playing magic wrong if you're not stealing decks from people. I'm kidding. Uh, but I go to Aetherhub. Of course, that's going to take you to my link, but just go to Aetherhub.com and sort by Historic Brawl. Um, I believe Legend VD is one of my favorite brawl builders, and I usually take a, a concept that... I take a shell from what he has, and I know that may, might feel like a shortcut, but you know what? To, I'm going to be honest. I have a full-time job. I have a son um, who you would think he was six years old but he's actually 19 and i still have to make him dinner and you know i'm a i'm a doting father so i spend um a lot of time doing other things i have an amazing little puppy dog you can scroll down on the panels and see max and so with between my dog and my son and my job and my life well, that's one my relatively non-existent life let's be honest uh i don't have time to sit there and brew decks. But if you're a brewer, I'm not hating on that. Go for it. You brew your little heart out. But I tend to take a template. I don't think there's any shame in that. As long as you give people credit and let people know that you're you're vibing on them. I tell LVD as often as I see him um, that he's a great content creator. And by all means, this is what we're there for. We're there to provide value, right? to uh, people and I will I will uh, gladly accept that okay all right we we have a plan I just have to remember how to play this game just give me a second I'm definitely getting the rebuke, but what else should I get? What else is really valuable here? It's going to help me in my ways of winning. Scoot Swarm seems cute. Cute Scoot. Um, we can kill one of the Gyrudas. I don't really know if that's my play right now, though. I hope my opponent doesn't hate me. I'm really trying to figure this out. I'm not... I'm not slow, 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 slow rolling them, you know.
You have a boyfriend that cooks for you and two lazy cats. You're kind of spoiled in that regard. Well, then you need to get your boyfriend to build a deck for you. <laughs> Just say, hey, I need to pet the cats. Can you build me a build me a commander or brawl deck? I think that's a reasonable request. I kind of hate losing anything, right? Boo. So they get a ramp out again. I just need to really punish them next turn. It needs to happen, like, immediately. No more goofing around. Maybe I should have been more aggressive with creatures, getting the scoot swarm out or something, but I can scoot swarm. I can pump a pretty reasonable... But I can just get bodies. So next turn, we're going to try to put out bodies. They might have a counter spell by this time. Two mana up, three mana. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. There's some cards in this collection that I've been eyeballing, and he told me you can have them. Ooh, look at that. Oh, so you play on the spell table? Is that what your jam is? And I don't have any um, six sets behind you, I know, but believe me. Believe me, that's the hardest part of especially playing historic brawl. I only I took a break from two sets and one of the historic anthologies, and I am it's so wild how many decks I cannot build. So I feel your pain. All right, one turn to go. They're tapped out. This is a big one. This is a big one. That, that's pretty sweet. All right, first. First things first. Stuff that triggers landfall, and then we still need to make sure we have two basics tapped, which is kind of a suck. That kind of sucks. All right, how many? So we need four there, and we can do another three here, which is fine. One mana open. Yeah, this is okay. This is okay. We still have a land we haven't dropped yet. So we get to do that. And we're going to pop for blue. Just because blue seems like a good color. And I'm going to untap this. Because I want maximum mana. Oh my gosh. Is there anything else I can do with this mana, or just this? Swing again, and let's see what they can do on their turn. See if they can ruin my day. You are correct. The Massacree Worm. Part of the, the number of lands you control and it enters the combat. You can, uh, let's see, land card from the battlefield tap. If you do draw a card, repeat the process. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just get time warp now, right?
That seemed good. I don't even see my... Wow. Four mana left. Uh, I guess I should have done... I, if I would have calculated my mana differently, you know, I could play this a lot better. But I'm okay with it. I'm okay with loose plays. We're just doing what, we, what we're doing, you know? We're having fun. Two more mana. What can I do with two mana now? Um, nothing? Treasure map pops and they get that, so let's kill that. Take out a little bit of their mana, maybe. Spark double the massacre worm, is that what they're gonna do? That's not enough, right? All right. We they're waiting that whole time just to do that. That's great. All right, game three, <laughs> the massacre worm was devastating. I couldn't get ahead of it. I thought I could get ahead of it on life, but I guess if I don't pump those creatures up, there's that's just. My demise. That's pretty funny.
I will win the coin flip this time, and game three, here we go. I need a way to get my creatures have haste. I don't think I even have the uh, piggy piggy. Why don't I have that in this deck? It feels like haste or an extra turn would have been everything. Hey, how'd you do? How are you doing in your games? You're kind of winner? Oh, okay. Well, congratulations. They frogified my commander. Okay, fair enough. I'll accept that. Should we take an extra turn? Does that really help me right now? I mean, they're going to get root off, right? A turn doesn't really change anything. I'll hit him with a frogified Tatiova. That seems fine. Here we go. It's a whiff. Wow. I'll take it. I will take it. Because I will also get my transformation on. to the command zone. Take an extra turn and is it enough? How do I get in for more? We do this, we play an extra land. We do this. Fifteen and ah, uh, hold on. So close.
But if I did sack field, it doesn't do anything, though. Because I lose the field, right? And I don't have enough mana. If I sack the field, I don't have enough mana to get this out. I don't know, though. Look at that. Okay, so... Plus one to each creature control, that's amazing. But you you might be right though. There might be there might have been a better way to, to sequence my mana. I would not doubt that for a moment. What? Four, five, six, right? Oh, seven. Dang it. It's kind of pointless. Yeah, Multani will just keep putting the pressure on him for sure. Hey, Peaches, how are you? You've been hanging on to life. Board wipes and removal and counter spells and multiple Gerudas. It's been a battle. I probably punted a million times, but I'm still learning. Still learning my deck. I think it's the fourth time I've ever played it in my entire life. No excuse, though, right? It's just a very complex, rampy deck, but it's really a blast. All right, here we go. They're trying to draw an answer. At this point, five mana up. They can't Gyruda. They just have to come up with an answer to my two attacks, and they did not have it. 